I am um, here today with uh, Pastor, an apostle from Canada, Derek Schneider. Um, he's a son in the faith, and, but we, today we're going to talk about something very dear to my heart. And I know to the heart of millions of people all over the world, especially those who know, who knew Dr. Miles Monroe. Did you know Dr. Miles? You know, actually, I met Dr. Miles through you here, here at the first anniversary that I had ever attended, which was the 12th anniversary. And of all the speakers, I would have to say I was most impressed with Dr. Miles Monroe. It was a genuine man. Uh, yeah, a genuine, authentic, but even just his kindness and relatability. I mean, I was trying to tell people, and that's one of the reasons I had to write this book. Yeah. If I... Uh, hold back from writing this book, it will, I will be robbing the whole, a whole generation of Christians wow. and people all wow. over the world. But more importantly, I'll be doing injustice to a friend wow. and to a brother. Because the human part of Dr. Miles, hmm. and looking at my background, I'm a journalist, I can write, and I've written close to 300 books, and I know it's not a big deal to come and just pass that across to people. Yes. And also for people to know that this is his way of death, like people, some people might be thinking, it's not any kind of punishment or any kind of, mm -hmm. you know, God's anger. Mm -hmm. I just needed to bring sanity and kind of uh, clarity yes. to the mind of people. That's why I decided to write a <clears throat> tribute to a friend and a covenant mm -hmm. brother. So what, I was, what, what do you think about writing a tribute, a book like this? You read this book mm -hmm. and, uh, and actually you, you wrote this. The, the, the motto for the, the, the slogan for this book, mm -hmm. the, the one, this quote we put in front. Yeah. But now, what you wrote is Sunday at Elijah. We could you read it? Sunday at Elijah has done it again, courageously explaining one of life's greatest mysteries. I question whether there has ever been a book written like it before. Tell me about, tell people what to expect in this book. Well, you know, uh, your relationship with him was genuine and it was deep. And that was very evident seeing the two of you together. And when you read this book, that not only comes across, I mean, you have a brilliant outline of his, his life and accomplishments and achievements here. But Pastor, you demystify Death. one of life's greatest mysteries. Something that everybody, no matter what culture, no matter what nationality, everybody knows about death, but who understands death? You know, you may, you may read about it in the Bible and, and in Proverbs and all of that, but you have brought a, such a clarity. When I read this book, I mean, I got excited about life, first of all, because I saw purpose in my, in my day to day, beyond the purpose I already feel I have. But also, you, you remove the fear from death. I think one of the leading causes uh, of fear is, is the fear is of death, death yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. And for you to literally strip a person of it in one, in one read is astonishing. That's why, you know, people say all kinds of things, but I, I genuinely meant that, that I question whether there's been a book written like this before. I'm being honest with you. That you, you've never read any book like I've that? I've personally never read a book like this before. And you question even if there had been anyone written even like it. I don't know of any book written that would be comparable to this. Do you think this book does judgment to the personality and the ministry uh, and even maybe the manner of passing of Dr. Miles Monroe? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's not only a tribute, but it's like Dr. Miles Monroe is still doing what he would want to do with us, educating us, taking us deeper, giving us understanding. The book even though it's you writing. It's like Dr. Miles Monroe mm -hmm. is still speaking to us. Uh, it, it's, it's incredible. What do you think this book will do to people who have lost their family members, oh. loved ones? And because the second title to this book says, Finding Answers to Why Good People Die Tragic on Early Days. Pastor, anybody who has lost somebody, uh, even if you haven't, you need to get a hold of this book. This will not only bring comfort, but it helps give an understanding of what is after death, what, uh, helps our concept of death, and that death is not the end. There is life after death. 
there's, there's something to look forward to. This is not just a comforting book, though. It is a book that helps correct even our the biblical understanding of life and death. Now, we, through this book, you're able to see life and death maybe from God's perspective, I think, mm -hmm. and also understand not just why we have to die, but why do some good die people. early yeah. tragic deaths? And it happens to good people. That is the huge question, especially for someone like Dr. Miles, who uh, we would say would be of such good use still with us. Why would God allow something like that to happen? When that happened, I mean, I, I never heard a single person that could answer that question. And I still haven't heard much as far as people coming to conclusions other than what I've read in this book. I look forward to people's comments on this, I really do. Well, I really hope that this book will bring a source of comfort, support to everybody that loves Dr. and still loves Dr. Miles Monroe, especially to his family, to his church, and to the family of, to the family of believers all over the world, and to just ordinary men and women who might have lost anybody to death, maybe early or tragic, tragically. And um, this book, My Smorrow, Finding Answers to Why Good People Die Tragic and Early Death, will be a blessing to everyone. So go on Amazon and you can get your copy. God bless.